Okay, this is our keypad is complete. Okay, now, but uh, how what do you, how does this thingy works? Well, here, usually when you use a switch, uh, you pass five volts or zero volts through it, and you just connect it to a source of zero volt such as the ground of your circuit or the 5 volt of your circuit but here in the in the matrix keypad technique uh, you just don't connect them to there you connect all the you connect all the signal input and signal output the signal input means the voltage and the signal output means the inputs of your microcontroller all of them to your microcontroller that means these are the le, uh, let's have a look here well these are the input feed the input signal signals means the 5 volts or 0 volts what or uh, whatever that is and this e at the inputs but instead of connecting connecting them all to some s fixed state we have we have connected them to some logic pins i mean to microcontrollers because they will change okay how this thingy works let's see well this works in a manner that we call scanning now how does it do the scanning stuff well first uh, we will do one thing we will set this two to high and this to low well we could have done the opposite we could have set them to low and set this to high but i have seen some advantages of se setting the one i want to scan to low then setting them to high why i'll tell you later okay but actually i don't set them to high what i do is i keep the, i send them to a floating state then neither high nor low this is called the high z state and i set the i set this column you say you see that has become a column and these have become rows and this is why this is called a matrix keypad because it certainly looks like a matrix of fixed rows and columns okay now <laughs> well now let's get, get started well what we do let's say we send them to a high z state I mean they're neither high nor low. Just don't look at this once, okay? Now what do we do? We set this to low. Now what happens then? When we set this column to row, low and we press any button in this column, what do we get in those pins? A low signal here if we press it low signal here if we press it low signal here if we press it low signal and I guess you know when you set any microcontroller pin data direction register as input it goes to high Z state and uh, when a microcontroller pin is in high Z state and you write or you set that pin to high I mean it's not in output state it's in input state 
I mean in high Z state and you set the port value to 1 what does a what actually happens there what actually happens is that you enable the pull up resistor I mean well I don't know about peaks or well I don't know about peaks or other families but I know about AVRs that when you set the data direction bit of a pin to low I mean to zero and you set the port value to one you actually enable the pull out I mean uh, in your microcontroller there is in your microcontroller there is a thingy like this this is your pin and this is the internal pull up resistor usually it's it remains disconnected but when you but while your microcontroller pin is in high z state uh, or you have written that that data direction registers to zero in case of peaks that's one i think uh, i mean when you are taking you take input from a pin you, i don't remember but i guess you set that bit to high no, you set that bit to high i mean one and in avr microcontrollers you set that bit to low okay now this remains disconnected this remains disconnected in this manner but when but while your data direction register bit is set to input mode or high z mode and you said just write the port value to one it just the mcu internally connects this pull up resistor well this is one advantage of setting this matrix keypad to low because when we are scanning we actually set this we pull the values of we set this pull up resistors up here the pull up resistors are up so when this is zero but these all these are ones and you press this button actually uh, this is also pulled up this pin is also pulled up so no change of state um, but when you press any button in this column there is definitely a cha sta change in state and that becomes low okay this was about the pull up well now let's Now let's set them to zero. I have set this to zero. Now I press it, and while and these are the input pins of microcontroller. Uh, like when, like when you just press this button, and your microcontroller quickly checks these pins okay when you set this pin um, when, when you are scanning this rows very quickly and you have set this column to zero okay i press it when, while scanning very fast when, when you scan this pin or check this pin and you get a low you say aha i've got a low well but when you press this one while this one is in low and these are in high z state 
there is no change in steps because this one is pulled up this one is also pulled up so no change uh, like you know in a okay uh, and now after scanning this column you set this to high z step you then you pull the register value up and the data direction values which are written using trice registers in PIC and DDR registers in AVR okay and these va values or th this pins remains unchanged I set this to high Z state now I move to next column I set this to zero well now if I press it you get the zero here and when you are scanning this and you get a zero you say aha this time um, I am scanning the second column I have set the second column value to low and others are in high Z state the, they are not sending any valid if I press them they are not sending any valid signal uh, but if I press any button in this column he is sending a low and when I am scanning these pins and I get a low in any of these pins I say ok no problem now the same about this one well this is how a matrix keypad works now let's have a look at some codes Well, we have constructed a circuit in Proteus to show you the capabilities of a matrix keypad. Well, in Proteus, this model is built in a, a 4 into 3 matrix keypad. These are the columns, and these are the and these are the row rows. Well, I told you that we are using the columns to read. We are, using, no, we, are, we are setting the value is of we are sending the input signal through the columns and the, we are reading them from the rows we could have done the alternate I mean we could have sent the signals through these pins and we could have read them through these pins no problem at all okay I have written a code and this is this 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 is the very cool interface of AVR Studio 5 I love, I love it okay now what what's the purpose of our program? Well when we press any of the buttons it, this seven segment display is gonna show the corresponding values. I mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well for these two they will show the values of ten and eleven. I mean we will send and as you can see none of these values have exceeded 4 bits so we can happily connect the 7448 to these 4 pins and then to our display well, seven four, what does 7448 does? well it's a BCD to 7 segment decoder I mean it takes a binary coded decimal a 4 bit number and interprets that to a seven segment signal okay now let's have a look at the code what the main as you can see the main function is extremely small well what do we do we have declared a small variable an integer type variable a and we have set